Yomi versus Yuki. Round two, let's begin. Oh shit, see, they're already moving. They already bought items, look at that. We got Death Toll coming from Ioki, and we got Leather Cowl coming from Komi. Komi going for the Morning Star into Transcendence. Loki following up with the same thing. Both with gooseberries, both with shells, one with a wing, and one with a claw. Loki starting out red buff. Komi starting out purple. Oh shit. We got red buff already on Yoki, so he's going to have a little bit more weight pressure in terms of abilities. Komi's still doing the purple, now confirms purple, and is now safely rotating to lane. Yoki looking for his target, might put some pressure on the tower, but gets meted with Komi. EXP and gold slightly in favor of Loki's clear. And we'll be like this for a little bit. Hachi does need some levels to get into that heavenly banner to really clear that lane. Neath backing already. What could she be buying? She bought a tier two of transcendence and bought some multis. Komi instantly going to the blue buff. He, his eyes are focused on farming right now. Okay, let's check gold. Golden hand is slightly in Komi's favor. However, global gold is in Ioki's favor. Ioki now going for his blue buff, both hitting level five. Experience per minute, pretty much tied until he gets blue. Until he gets the whole blue buff camp, he will be a little bit ahead. Yeah, that blue buff camp will give him a lot. Okay, let's take that option out. Leveling up into Heavenly Banner. Loki leveling up into Spear Arrow. Both have alts. This should be interesting. Though, with a slight, just a slight level lead is Yoki. Now the question is, who's going to be the first one to deliver a lot of pressure? Well, Komi on the Hachi? Oh, good spear arrow. Oh, well, Yoki on the knee. Loki has a little bit more into his gooseberry recipe than the Komi, but that's not really like a big deal. But it does go to show how many minions he lost under that tower. He lost about a good like three to four. Which each minion being, of course, gold and experience. That does suck for him. Spirit arrow connected. A dash away. Two connected. And into the ult. Does not confirm the kill. That is a big ult on cooldown, though. Golden hand. He gets a transcendence online. Yoki now backing. Forcing a minion wave under the tower. Low red buff and purple buff have spawned. The question is, will Komi be able to push pressure onto those buff camps to confirm one or both? Chests have also spawned. Remember, each chest, if you get the chest hit and the grunt kill, is 50 gold. So both chests equal out to 100 gold if, able, if you're able to get both. Putting a little bit more pressure onto him. He does not want him to clear this wave. For free, at least. Oh, Yoki laying those auto attacks a little bit more. Missing the Heavenly Banner. Yoki now has a slight lead. And he has a Tier 1 Breastplate. So he ha he's a little bit more bolster in defenses. This also, the poking battle votes well for him too, Yoki, because he has a heal unlike Komi. 
if Komei can get a Chalice of Healing online, that ne that will negate Neath's too a lot. Neath confirming the red buff now. He has enough pressure onto it. Both with leveled up recipes, but not into gooseberries quite yet. Yoki pressuring tower. Tower is at one third health and dropping quickly. Tower getting close to half health. Neither one has used a shell yet, nor I believe a shard. Holding on to their relics. Loki is now a level lead. Experience wise, he is. Eh, he's, he's almost a hundred. Komi will hit level 10 on this wave. However, Yoki is almost hitting level 11 once he buff clears that buff camp there. He, he ignores buff camp, okay? He's more focused on pressure. He's leveling ne Neajutsu? Ayajutsu. So that tells me that he wants to be aggressive. But he has to find the right spot. Missing the Heavenly Banner. Missing Unravel. Oh god, be careful of that weave. It's going to detonate. Komi trying to abuse the fact that he has no dash. Missing the Unravel. Missing the Heavenly Banner. Oh, pressure onto the tower. Spear arrow connects so, and that might just win him the tower. Komi not giving up tower though. He is saying, screw you, this is my tower, and it's going to be up. Scare tactic on to World Reaver. Scare tactic has failed though. Nether level on Iajutsu. Loki thinking about putting more pressure onto this tower though, it looks like. He wants his tower gone so he can have pressure. Oh, he takes a lot of damage. He takes a lot of damage there. Yoki has to be careful. Hachi has ult too. Oh, it's an ambush. Oh. Both abilities connect. World Reaver not being able to kill. Oh, shell used! He doesn't have dash! This dash will be up in three and oh! Just out of. Oh! Oh! Oh, again! Almost killing him! Yoki doesn't look like he wants to. He wants to give up this red buff, though. Pressuring out camps. Komi's going for the red buff camp. Yoki will not make it to it. Confirming the red buff, get, getting the red buff, and now getting out of danger. This has... Yoki might have almost 1k in the lead, but... Komi is showing that he is not scared. Going into a griffin wing, into a balance blade. That might be an Aussie. He has completed breastplate of valor. And what's golden hand? Yeah, he yeah, he should have another item. What that item will be, I'm not too sure, but he can confirm a full tier three item. He hasn't yet though. Though yeah, this chest kill will give him transcendence. Putting a lot of pressure. Oh the dash! That's a lot of damage! Into an alt! Komi getting first blood! Komi looking for any camp to scavenge. Purple buff is now available, and so is Bull Demon King. Komi going for the safe play though, and gaining the purple buff camp. Now gaining an Aussie, and Komi should be able to get an Aussie as well. Both gods looking very scary. Golden Hand, yes, he should be able to get 
an Aussie and a tier one item, which will be a dominance. Okay. Now leveling hasn't leveled up Eagle's Eye yet. Loki leveling up. Okay. Both a bill. You can tell his ability is he's not leveling up backflip, but leveling up more into unravel. Interesting. He still has his potion pots from early in the game, too. He could sell those and get a little bit more bang for his buck. Spirit arrow missing. Eagle eye missing as well. Yoki. One level down off of Komi. Gold lead. Only 200 in favor. Oh, spirit arrow confirming. Gotta be careful. Breastplay is in play. Unravel. He gets tower. Into an Aegis. Into a Neon Jutsu. Into a Spiro Arrow kill. Loki returning the kill. All right. Now getting a Purification Beads. He does not want to get rooted anymore. Confirming a red buff as well. This is still anyone's game. He only has 1k in the lead at the moment. Only 1k. Call me selling. I'm trying to remember the tier 1 item. It's not. Is it Morningstar? I think it's Morningstar. Selling Morningstar for a tier 2 Breastplate of Valor. He sees that he is needing protections. And Ioki. Getting executioner. So he has he has a tier three I am confirmed. He used both of his he used one multi and one man uh, health potion there as well. Because they were two. Oh. He's gaining weight pressure, but unravels on him. Spirit arrow missing. Backflip from Heavenly Banner. Both blue camps and purple camp are about to spawn as well. If one of them can confirm both camps being purple and blue, they get they get a very nice goal lead. And experience. I think experience is mostly favored right now. Both eagle eyes confirming. Spear arrow missing. Unravel missing. Both gods. About the same level. Yoki just has a slight level lead. Yoki confirming a little bit more basics. Call me not backing down though. Yes, he has Ia Jutsu online. He's got Spirit Arrow online as well though. He's backing off. Might go in for the cheeky World Reaver. Does not kill. Fully charged too. Oh, buys a determination. Confirms a blue buff. Both chests are here too. That's a hundred bonus gold if he's able to collect both. Might go. He gets purple buff as well. Purple buff gives him a little bit more protection shred as well as attack speed. Mm. Confirms his own blue buff. Now he has a level. Half level actually. Not too big. Though the gold, the gold you can tell is quickly in his favor already. He can he can probably back to get a yes, he can back to get a dominance if he really wants to. Going back to the builds. He's gonna have a late game death temple. Death Temper or Death Embrace? We're, we'll see where this one goes. Oh, a lot of pressure. Oh, I, I can do this? That's interesting. I rather like, I like assisted camera. Oh, Spirit Arrow connecting. A lot of pressure onto Ioki. Ioki heals with a big heal. Oh, missing with a spear arrow. Komi strategically retreats. 
Now pressure at the Phoenix. Law, law, slight damage onto him. Spear arrow connecting, but not doing a lot of damage that time. Unravel, reducing attack speed. Yoki confirming red. Call me backing swiftly. Does what? Well, how much gold does he have in hand? He has a tier two item that he just. What did he use? It? Oh, he leveled up beads. I see. He hasn't used beads much though. Interesting. Though he does have enough gold for a tier two item. So he might be trying to hit 20. Oh! Going for a sneaky bold demon king. Yoki, unaware, unaware. Going. Not going for his red. Wait, does he have red? No, who has red here? No, red disappeared. That's what happened. Call me. Confirming the bold demon king. Phoenix Siege now. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Straight into a beat. Straight into an Aegis. Iajutsu on. No? Now it has Iajutsu. Unravel on him. He's got to be careful. He's in. He's in death territory. Backflip down. Spear arrow down. Unravel down, but he got a lot of healing from it. Yoki looking for a swift spear arrow. Connects. Oh, he's pressuring. He's pressuring. He has him on the opposite side of where he wants to be, and it is a kill. This might be game, ladies and gentlemen. He confirms the phoenix. He confirms the wave. And ladies and gentlemen, round two going to Siphon Loki. A swift two games too. Both games ending around 15 minutes as well. All right. GG. Well. That mi what the fuck's that minion doing? What the hell he is? He is having a seizure on that ground, ladies and gentlemen.